It's a winning return to Melbourne. Three sets to love. Seven six for Carlos Alcaraz. Healthy respect shared between the two. That was a fun contest. Gasgate played a big part in it early on. But the number two seed prevails in straight sets to get over the first hurdle. That was funny. Yeah, big time. I think, you know, he hasn't had too much experience here in the down under. So to come out here and, and beat someone like Gasquet, tested in the first set, but now he'll have that confidence. And it was just good to see him out there healthy, enjoying himself and, and doing what he loves. And this man's been doing what he loves for 20 years. How much more we will see of him. Time will tell. His ranking has slipped outside the top 100. One thing's for sure, he's added a lot to this sport. Definitely. Still didn't leave the court without some backhands, but all love to Gasquet, well, one, of the, one of the greatest. Good chat with John McEnroe there, I think that was. Appreciates quality when he sees it. Andy Murray was beaten here yesterday. There was quite a long goodbye, a wave goodbye, and was suggesting perhaps we may not see him down under again. I don't know if we're going to see Gasque, but it's been a fun journey. Yeah, definitely. You just don't want to see those. Those two guys that have achieved so much in the sport and enjoyed it so much and given the fans so much to cheer about and then them to go in a, in a negative way, in a negative light. You know, Murray, Gasquet, they've taught me lessons and taught fans around the world. You know, anyone who loves tennis knows those two, so... Hopefully we get to see him a little more. Yeah, let's hear from the Thank winner. Thank you for wearing those sneakers, first of all. Those are my sneakers from 40 years ago, so... Much appreciated. But I, I sit under in that bunker, and um, I haven't been here for four years. And I got to say, and hopefully I'm speaking on behalf of the uh, Australian people here in this stadium, it is absolutely incredible to see you up close and personal. Thank you, man. Thank you. I got to ask you how you feel. You hadn't played last year. It's been a few years since you played in the Australian Open. Tell me about this first round experience. Well, it's always uh, great to, to play here in Australia. You know, this is my third time that I play here. Uh, you know, as I said before, I didn't have, I didn't have a good run, you know, the years that, I, that I've played here, but uh, I enjoy a lot, you know, and uh, I missed last year, uh, you know, and uh, today I felt, I felt really, really well, you know, playing, playing here. I think I, I enjoy uh, playing from all of you uh, and, uh, yeah, trying to, to be better. You know, I think in the first try I struggled a little bit, you know, with uh, his game, in which is playing great as well. But, uh, you know, uh, every set I've, I've been playing better and better. And, uh, yeah, at the end, I, I think I, yeah, I played a, a quite a good level. I'm sure it did. Will you say a quick word about Richard Gasquet? He's played about 20 Australian Opens. He's been around forever. You made him look a little old there at the end. It's tough. But he's a good man, and he's a damn good player. He's a great player, actually. Yeah, uh, obviously, Rita is... Uh a great player, but uh, I'm going to say even better person, you know, uh, he's, as you say, he's been around forever uh, and a really, really kind person, you know, we wave uh, every single day that uh, we, we see each other and uh, yeah, we didn't speak too much, but uh, he's a really nice guy and uh, he has uh, shown during his whole career that uh, he's an amazing player. Uh, he uh, has a lot of talent, you know, his backhand is... Uh, 
amazing. You know, it's uh, crazy uh, the way that the, he hit the, his backhand, and uh, obviously it's uh, great to, to play against him. Obviously, uh, he did a pretty good first set, and then you know uh, I put my own game. But uh, anyway, his uh, his talent is there, and uh, it doesn't matter if uh, it's that uh, he has. He's an, uh, an incredible, incredible player. I've got to ask you, uh, the crowd, you feed off the crowd, I think. The crowd feeds off you, your energy. You feel like at times you can hit any shot. Is there any time where you actually hit shots to try to impress the crowd and you're not that worried about the score? You just want to show your, what you got? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I always say that, uh, you know, making uh, unbelievable so you know, drop shots, uh, ball ace, uh, it's uh, playing for myself, but uh, I always, you know, try to make the people enjoy watching tennis, watching my game, you know, and I think it's not, not a better way to, to do it than, than hitting maybe some shots that uh, anybody expects. So, uh, so, yeah, sometimes I don't... Uh, see the score, and I, I, I try to make uh, impossible so sometimes just for, for the crowd as well, yeah. Well, they appreciate that. Um, last thing, um, I've heard you say that your best quality that you have on a tennis court is your ability to smile, and that, that helps you enjoy it and helps your game. A lot of players that are playing in this event would like to know how you're able to smile through all these tense moments and how you're able to do that. Could you give them any insight, the other players? Siente. Cállate la boca. No, I mean, uh, yeah, he tried to uh, smile all the time on the court. Uh, obviously, there are some times that uh, it's really tough to do it. Um, you know, the pressure is, uh, is there, the nerves is there, so in, in those, uh, those moments, in those situations, it's uh, tough to, to enjoy, uh, you know, playing, playing the, those, uh, those moments. But I have my, my team as well over there that uh, when I'm uh, struggling, let's say, struggling a, a little bit or I'm mad on the court, they put uh, a smile on, my, on their faces just to uh, try to bring the joy again, you know, on the core. Uh, and uh, that's the, the key of, uh, of my game. That's why I'm playing uh, a good tennis. Uh, that's just to put the, the smile on, on my faces. And uh, that's, I try to, to do it uh, every day. Have you been this way your whole life? Sorry? Have you always been this way since you were a kid? You just had this joie de vivre, just love to play? Uh, no, when I was uh, younger, uh, I was uh, mad all the, all the time. You know, I threw the rock. Uh, I, you know, I. Uh, it was tough to, to enjoy myself on the court when I was young, but I, I learned how to do it. Well, at an old man at 20, I want to say it's an absolute pleasure to have you back in Melbourne in the Australian Open, Carlos Alcaraz. Let's give it up for him. Thank you. Good luck. Huh?